I'm Mohamed Haulam, and I'm going to speak about higher causal duality and connections with N hereditary algebras. And everything I say is based on joint work with Mats Sunday. And my aim for these 10 minutes is to give you a brief impression of what we do in this preprint that you can see here. And I will, of course, not have time to go into a lot of details. What I will do is that I will highlight parts of the motivation for this work and sketch some of our main results. In this work, we give a connection between two different areas in representation theory, namely causal duality on one side and higher homological algebra on the other side. And in particular, this notion of N hereditary algebras is very important to us. So how do we establish this connection? Well, we do it through a generalized or higher notion of Kazool algebras. And this generalization builds on work by Green, Wrighton, and Zulberg, and also Doug Oscar Matson, where they formulate what it means to be a Kazool algebra with respect to a tilting module T. And they call their generalized Kazool algebras T Kazool algebras. And what we do is to give a higher version of this definition. And this turns out to relate very well to these N hereditary algebras. So what are these N hereditary algebras? Well, I will not give you a full definition, but what you should have in mind is that in the classical case, meaning that this N is equal to one, we get that a one hereditary algebra is exactly the same thing as a hereditary algebra. So it's the same as having global dimension less than or equal to one. And of course, the class of hereditary algebras splits up into the representation finite ones and the representation infinite ones. And as you all know, the representation theory of algebras of global dimension zero or one is very well understood. And this has been the starting point for wanting to understand the representation theory of algebras of higher global dimension. So say global dimension n. And this question turns out to be much more complicated uh, but if you restrict to a specific class of algebras of global dimension n, namely what we call the n hereditary algebras, uh, then you get higher analogs of many of the things that we know from classical theory. In particular, we can talk about higher auslander reichen theory in this setup. And similarly, as before, the n hereditary algebras split up into two classes, namely the n representation finite algebras, and the n representation infinite algebras. And uh, these two notions are very important in our work. But before I get to that, let me remind us about the classical Kuzul situation, because this is the situation that we want to get a higher analog of. So if we have a Kuzul algebra lambda in the classical case, uh, and we have that certain finiteness conditions are satisfied, then we have an equivalence between the derived category associated to the Kuzul algebra lambda and the derived category associated to the Kuzul dual. And this equivalence is often called Kuzul duality. And we can extend this picture a bit. On the right-hand side, we get a natural factor down to this category, where this notation means that we factor out uh, the finite dimensional modules. And in the case where our algebra is, for instance, sy symmetric, then we get a natural factor also here, uh, down to the stable category, which is also then triangulated. And the interesting thing is that this Kuzul duality equivalence turns out to descend to give an equivalence also on this level. So this is often known as the BGG correspondence. Okay, so one of the aims in our work has been to give a more general notion of a Kuzul algebra so that we can obtain a higher version of this very nice picture. But before I tell you more about that, I want to discuss why this question uh, is a quite natural question and why it would be interesting and useful if we could get a higher version of this picture. So our motivation goes back to two equivalences that are known in the literature. Uh, and the point is that if we start with one of these n representation infinite algebras, for which we assume that this higher pre-projective algebra is uh, graded right coherent, then work by Minamoto and Muri gives this very nice equivalence that we see on the right-hand side here. But on the other hand, an n representation infinite algebra is finite dimensional and it has finite global dimension. So uh, by work of Happel, this derived category is also, also equivalent to the stable graded category associated to the trivial extension of A. 
So combining these two equivalences, we get the equivalence that you can see here. And now the point is that this reminds us a lot about what we saw on the previous slide, because this looks a lot like the BGG correspondence. However, it doesn't really fit into the classical picture that we saw before. So a natural question to ask is if this equivalence uh, descends from some higher causal duality equivalence. Okay, so this is the starting point of our work and the answer turns out to be yes. So let's now move on to how we define these generalized or higher Kazool algebras. And as usual, Lambda will be a positively graded algebra. And the key notion for our definition is what it means for a finitely generated basic graded Lambda module to be n self orthogonal. So first we want it to be concentrated in degree zero. And then the main point is that this X group that you can see here, uh, it vanish whenever the index I is not equal to N times the index J. And one thing to note here is that if you recall the definition of a classical Kazool algebra, then you see that this condition is satisfied if you take T to just be lambda zero and N to be one. So this reminds us about the X vanishing condition one has for classical Kazool algebras, but this is much more general. So using this, we can define our higher Kazool algebras. So here the degree zero part of our algebra has finite global dimension. And we say that our algebra is NT Kazool, or maybe rather N Kazool with respect to T, if T is a tilting module over lambda zero, and T satisfies this X vanishing condition that we had on our previous slide. And there are a few things to note here. And the first thing is that if you take a classical Kazool algebra and put T to be equal to the degree zero part and then N to be equal to one, then this definition is clearly satisfied. Uh, but this is much more general. And the second thing to note is that in the case N equal to one, this is exactly the same definition that Doug Oscar Matson uses in his, uh, in his paper that I mentioned at the start of this video. Okay, so given such an algebra, we also define a more general version of the Kazool dual. And in one of our first main results, we show that for these generalized Kazool algebras, we have a higher version of classical Kazool duality. So this equivalence that you can see here looks exactly the same as the classical Kazool duality. But remember that the conditions Lambda has to satisfy are now much more general. So this is nice. And what's also nice is that this equivalence turns out to descend here to give a higher analog of the BGG correspondence. So this means that we have exactly the same picture that we saw in the classical case, but now it works in our higher setup. So now we can return to our motivating question because we show that if you start with an N representation infinite algebra A, then this trivial extension is an example of an N plus one Kazool algebra uh, with respect to the degree zero part. And we also show that the dual in this case is given by the higher pre-projective. So this means that as long as this finiteness condition is satisfied, uh, then the higher Kazool duality yields this uh, equivalence. And this also descends uh, to give an equivalence also on this level. So to summarize what we have done, we started by knowing that these two categories are equivalent, uh, but now we have reached a new understanding for why they are equivalent, namely that we can think about it as a consequence of the fact that these two categories are equivalent. And this is an equivalence that was not known before. So this provides a full answer to our motivating question. However, having developed this theory of higher Kazool algebras, there are also many other natural questions that come up. And I will not have time to say much about this, but I will just mention one result, which gives a characterization of what it means for an algebra to be higher representation infinite, because this turns out to actually be equivalent to the trivial extension being a higher Kazool algebra in the way that we have defined. And 
this means that this connection that we establish between causal duality on one side and higher homological algebra on the other side, this connection is actually quite strong. And by this, I mean that notions from the higher homological algebra side turns out to correspond directly to notions from this causal duality side. So this is something I like a lot. And there are, of course, many more things that could have been said uh, related to this, but I will stop here. And if you are interested, please contact me and I'd be more than happy to discuss these topics more. <laughs>